Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrier. When we last left off, we made uh, most of our way through the third level. Most areas seem to be blocked off to us at this point because of pesky cactus. Yes, cactus, of all things. And mushrooms, for good measure. Uh, we also found the machine gun, which I'm guessing is an assault rifle. But hey, let's not split hairs. So, that's good. Let's go down again to the third floor and finish off the last few rooms we also found some more ammo um for our handgun although we're not really using our handgun that much at the moment because to be honest we don't really need it the uh welder seems to be getting us pretty much through every situation we've come across so far the enemy's aren't too much of a threat to be honest unless you get ganked in the corner uh that hasn't happened to us for a little while so oh hello wait i guess those things come back those little frogs oh fuck so we also have weird cactus frogs which yeah th you know that's a thing um Definitely a thing that we're encountering. Cactus frogs. Not really sure what the hell that's about. But I'm sure. Sooner rather than later, we are going to start getting some more answers. Um, fingers crossed. Anyway. So, what have we got going on down here? We've got some spooky music. Spooky music is good. Oh, yeah. We also needed, like, uh, the key. Or was it the B key? B1. Uh, there's another ladder here as well, which I guess we could go up and have a look around. In Wait, hang on. Yeah, that's that dude walking around. Uh, he didn't really give us too much information. Let's go up the ladder, see what happens. Maybe there's some goodies up here. It'd be nice to get some goodies. I do like goodies. And the way he like scales the stairs or the ladder is freaking hilarious man it's hard to imagine back in the day that these games were ever considered scary you know and i myself uh would have been one of the people that would have been terrified of this most likely i used to be terrified of video games anything with a horror kind of vibe to it Ooh. we're in another magazine apparently Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Hello. Ah, right. Okay. Fair play. So we actually have to go back to deck three anyway. Good stuff. And here's me thinking I was wasting our time. Just, um, you know, probably would have only found, I don't know, some more ammo or uh, a couple of med kits or something. Sorry, energy drinks, because our boy here seems to live on energy drinks, which is fine. You know, I have, uh, <laughs> I've lived that life myself. I would say it's the good life, the best life, but not really. No. All right, we've got another dude around here. Yeah, there's, there's no sense of urgency with the situation, you know? There's people, like, aimlessly wandering around these corridors. No fucks given. They know shit's gone south. And we've given them uh, a way to go and hide, to get together. Kind of pull their strength, if you will. Uh, but, no. No, nobody's interested. No one's interested in taking the easy way out. Would that even be considered the easy way? You know, go hide upstairs. I mean, sure, it's exposed. Right, we're back to the passage way. Alright. I mean, I guess we should save it because we just made progress by speaking to Lang. And uh, so that was the right way to go. We just need to actually, you know, give him some uh, plot time. 
to work out uh, how to artfully put an explosive down without blasting uh, the catwalk to pieces. Uh, looks like that's the only door we can get to. We need to get rid of this bloody cactus. I know some people drink cactus juice, don't they? Maybe we need a freaking juicer around here or something. Alright. This place crawls. What are we looking at? Corridors within corridors. Ah, there you are. Right. Let's light this guy up. Come on, buddy. Get a face full of hot plasma. There you go. That'll make you feel better. Dude, no. No. Uh-uh. Don't think so. Right, okay. Uh, he's bubbling away. Which pleases me. And we've got more. Come on, dude. Make this nice and easy for us. Oh. Well, this looks interesting. All right. Oh, hey, friend. You got some swanky headgear on, dude. Can we zap you in the face? We actually can zap you in the face. Damn, motherfucker's still going. There we go. Feel better, buddy. Now we've uh, freed you from your existence of pain. Maybe it's not a painful existence, you know? Maybe we're looking at this wrong. Maybe it's a nice feeling existence. Hello. Oof. Oh. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. He curveballed that towards us. Yeah, pretty sure that guy's screwed. Um, I don't want to be like, you know, a negative Nancy here. Oh. <laughs> oh, that sounded gribbly. Well, alrighty then. Uh, should we go have a look back in here? We've got a machine gun now, so... Should we be able to put anything down that... Uh, tries to mess our day up too badly? Ugh. Yeah. Uh, all that remains of our friend with the B key card is a stain. Hmm. All right, well, let's go see what we can do with this B key card. Hopefully we can cook up something that eats cactuses. <laughs> cook up something that eats cactuses. See, see what I... Okay. Anyway, let's go. Oh. Oh, we've had a plot point, which means enemies. Come on, you bastards. We don't have all day. Uh... Dudes. Oh, they must be above us. Wait a minute. How do we use the glasses? The goggles. They do nothing. Well, that's not true. They do very little, but I wouldn't say they do nothing. They are pretty horrendous to use. Wait a minute. Yeah, actually, you can see through the cactus. Which is interesting. Yeah, I don't like... Oh, sounded like something was being gribbly. I don't like those goggles at all. That's, like, one thing about this game that I really am not a fan of. Noble. I'm sure she's fine. OK. 
okay, did they really need to show us that? Really, it's just going to keep cutting to and from these two characters with loading screens in between. Is that necessary? Uh, archaic game design. Straight from the early 2000s. <laughs> Jeez! And now we have a codec. Okay, so now we have like a codex system. Okay, so the Doctor's going to fiddle with Zoe, Zoe and um, we are going to continue searching through this floor, which seems to link up, actually, full, all the way around, which is cool. Um, right. So, I'm glad that he actually questioned Ark. He's like, what is Ark? We have no knowledge of this Ark. We heard about a life form, but I don't think it was ever... Oh, you son of a bitch. Can we, can we aim at these things, please? There we go. Alright, so, I mean, I guess... Oh, fuck. I guess we're still going... Oh, bloody hell, how many of these fucking things is there? I guess we're still going to go to floor four. Do they hurt? Man, they actually kind of do hurt, to be honest. Uh, we do have plenty of health. Let's go for a medium strength one. All right. So those little frog things actually hurt fairly, fairly decent amount if you let them get the drop on you. That was a wicked camera angled. Ah, uh, listen to me with my excuses. Okay. Now, there's one. No, that door's locked from the outside, isn't it? Yeah. We've got hostiles. Apparently. Oh, man, that thing gives me a headache. There we go. We have danger. All right. Let's take you out, you bastard. Come on. Face full of hot welding goo. I mean, I assume this is hot welding goo. Well, I mean, it's melted him down. Oh, hey, sir. It's like you're aiming to join the party. That's fine. Plenty of hot welding goo for everybody. There we go. I brought enough for the whole class. All right. What's through here, then? Anything good? Ooh. Oh, hey, friend, you're just, like, outside, just chilling. Is this a shop? Is this a freaking shop? Do we have a shop? We've got a shop, haven't we? What's in the shop? The shop sells bombs, I guess. Toiletries. Is this stuff audio equipment? Is this stuff not just, like, supplied? Magazines. What kind of magazines? Foodstuffs. Uh, I don't think this is really going to keep a whole crew going. I'm missing something here. I'm going to take your explosive, dude. 
You're safe. All right. Okay. I'm guessing we need like X amount of these bombs to do our job. Is that another T9? It's going to be another T9, isn't it? Yeah, T9. I've got a few of those now. We also have a, another intercom system. Wait. Seems to be broken. The whole intercom system is broken. But then if Zoe's playing tricks on everybody. Uh, small monitors and computers. What is this just like the same? Enemy. Go on. That's a hell of a key. Access key. Awkward dialogue. It's awkward. Well, I mean, we saved someone else. So we've got an access key, which is fine. But access key to what? So equip is just your bomb, your weapons. All right. Oh, look is where. Yeah. DV tape. Access key. Operate the security system. Do we need that? I mean, I guess we needed it. All right. Okay, so, I mean, we've got an access key. Maybe we need that a little bit later on. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. All right, let's go. There's still more rooms that we need to uh, investigate. Well, I mean, there's one more anyway. I still don't know how to get rid of this cactus that's everywhere. This cacti. Right, what are we looking at? Um, right, so it's that way, isn't it? All right, and then straight down. Got ya. Come on, Mr. Ingalls. Weird names. And Jessica. Je oh, God. Hey, friend. Will you get your gun out, sir? Jesus Christ, Ingalls. So no time to be asleep at the wheel. And there's way too many guys here. I'm not a fan of this. Luckily, we can stun lock this guy. Eh, eh, eh. You fool. Okay. Uh, looks like we've got a dickhead there. That's fine. We should be able to keep this guy at range. Come on, you bastard. You can have a little suck if you can get to me. Little nibble on the old neck. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're not getting up, are you? You getting up again? It's a shame we can't squish them. I like squishing them, especially in Dead Space, man. That was so satisfying. Dead Space and, uh, of course, Resident Evil. All right. So throw the key card away. What have we got in here then? I'm guessing we have plot. Oh, hey. Well, I mean, we do have plot in a manner of speaking. We've got a book on the desk, which is cool. Rrr, come on, buddy. Didn't see you sleeping there. There you go. Ah, you're one of those chest burster types. That's fine. You're literally projectiling like vomity blood all over me. Oof. Right, what have we got here? Room th Oh, 301 key. Yeah. Where was 301? Two pistol mags. Very nice. And we have some uh, reading material. Third flight team. Team leader's diary. Michael Petrowski. Right. April 3rd. When we deliver the container from NC0023, we will be able to head for New House. Maybe I'll make it in time for Mary's ninth birthday. I would hate to miss yet another of her birthdays. April 4th, there was an explosion in the engine room. Yes, we've heard there's trouble in the engine room. But it doesn't seem to have affected our progress. At breakfast, one of the guys sitting near me went crazy and attacked another sailor. I had to shoot him. Maybe he's a member of the Southern Cross. Yeah, maybe. I went to room 301 for a battery for the ship's intercom, but... 
The passageway was full of mutants and I couldn't get through. What now? Will I ever see Mary again? Well, looking at the fact that we've just dispatched you, sir, probably not. Pictures of the Heimdall. Mm-hmm. Definitely does seem to be an odd place to have a bed, like right up against that. Bit bit strange. But hey, you know, uh, who am I to to judge these uh, gentlemen? Actually, let's go back in there because we know those shelves we can open. I don't think there's going to be anything in there, but let's have a look nonetheless. Whilst I rapidly drain this coffee. Oh, man. I need a wizard. I need a wizard to come up with some kind of un... Uh, ooh. Yeah, bottomless coffee cup. Oh, man, can you imagine that? Bottomless ale uh, tankard as well. Oh, my God. Imagine that. Wizards. Wizards know how to live, man. Right, let's go. Oh, especially Discworld wizards. Oh, man. Right. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? So, right, yeah. So, room 301 was one of the ones on the end, wasn't it, that are flashing? Very inconsistent. Okay, I think something's out there flying at us. But fuck that thing. Yeah, it's very inconsistent, like, what uh, is actually highlighted on the map. Uh, yes. Wait. Uh, cheers. You're giving me this now? I haven't... Have we... Have... Uh... Okay. Haven't we already, like, um... Spoken to him? I mean, yeah, sure. Cool game. Right, let's continue. Let's try and find room... Z ah, actually, now we have... How did we not bump into him before? Nah, hang on, man. Yeah, room 301's there. Yeah, room 301's there. Yeah, so those two rooms on the map there that are actually highlighted with the welded doors. We can't actually highlight them, so I guess that they are nothing that we can fiddle with all right fair enough uh room uh, that's that one i believe one right on the end doors damage uh wait a minute oh right 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 cool all right come on ingles what was our name i can't remember what a main character was called wasn't it like jack or something jack ingles yeah i'm pretty sure it was something like that I should probably look it up but Eh. Right. Let's have a little look in here. Maybe we're going to need that key. That the mysterious man gave us. Alright. Fuck me. Oh, no, you can never have too many magazines. You're one of the good ones, buddy. Pistol magazine obtained. Oh, it's got a bad case of the shits, I think. No, I shouldn't drink the water, buddy. Okay, let's have a look. Three, so we got four pistol magazines in this room. Nice. 
See, some it's so strange that sometimes these NPCs actually give you like a fairly realistic reaction, like that guy he just pulls a piece on us, um, and then other ones just don't acknowledge you at all. It's really strange. Battery for ship intercom obtained. Uh, right. Okay. Eh. I mean, I guess we can go use the ship intercom now, but I'm not 100% sure what that's going to achieve. All right. Well, it just so happens we have a key. All right, cool. Well, I mean, we do have a key, so. Right, where are we heading to now? You know, it seems, seems like sometimes we don't make a lot of progress, but actually... Actually, we are making progress, so, you know, good stuff. Right, let's check. Oh, the save room there, which is nice. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't get in there, though. Son of a... Um, well, that's fucking awkward. Do we need to go all the way around? I guess so. Oh, Jesus Christ. So we have to go, I'm guessing, all the way around. Really? Really, game? All the way around? Seriously? You're not fucking with me. Ah, oh, right. We need some way of getting rid of this cactus. Because, I mean, I'm guessing... Did we try blowing this cactus up? I actually can't remember. Uh, I'm going to say... I think we tried blowing this cactus up. Uh, we're not going to use a T9. Let's use one of these bad boys. Right. Fuck you, cactus. Run! Uh, no... Nope, I guess not. So, what have we learned here today, boys and girls? We have learned that uh, a cactus's weakness is not heavy explosives. Right, actually, there's one thing we can do. Let's give it a save. Because we know we can't use all those T9 bombs, which makes sense, as, 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 as I'm guessing they are actually used for plot progress. So, you know, let's try... Let's pop one of these mofos. And we can always load the game. If it doesn't work. I mean, they're green. So, nope. Okay, I mean, I guess... Even the green explosive goop does not work. Hmm. So, we've got to go all the fucking way around. All right, then, guys. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. When we come back, we're going to go all the bloody way round um, and hopefully get back into the security room. Uh, on the plus side, maybe we'll get to waste some monsters along the way. But hey, progress, man. Progress.